Welcome to my channel Winchem. Today we are going to see a group theory easy tricks part 2. This is very easy. If you are not clear about the earlier video, if you see this, it's easy for your exam. Within 2 to 3 minutes, not a 3 minutes also, within a minute you can able to solve this problem. Important tricks for the point group. Okay, three important tricks are there. We'll see one by one. Okay, you, if you keep these three points in your mind, it's easy for you to solve. The first one is number of lone pair of electrons. If a compound is there, means first we need to know how many number of lone pair of electrons in that compound, a settled metal atom. Okay, that is how to find out that valence electron minus number of bonds attached to the central metal atom divided by two. That is the uh, formula for to find out the lone pair of electrons. Second one hybridization you should know what is the hybridization for that compound third geometry for that hybridization what is the structure for the hybridization if if you know these three then it is very easy for you here is a tabular column for the geometry of the hybridization for sp means that is a linear structure that is linear geometry sp2 means trigonal planar sp3 tetrahedral sp3d is trigonal bipyramidal sp3d2 is octahedral sp3d3 is pentagonal bipyramidal Okay, now I'll show you <clears throat> another one also. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and press the like, bell button and like and share it also. See here, it's a consolidated point group with hybridization I have mentioned over here. Okay, it's a bond pair. If you take a three bond pairs, okay, without any lone pair, the hybridization is sp2 and the structure is the trigonal planar structure and the point group is d H. Okay, the point group is D3H. If it is one lone pair of electron is there, then what will be the structure? If one lone pair, the base structure will be a trigonal planar. I already said SP2 means the base structure is trigonal planar. SP means linear. Okay, SP2 is a trigonal planar. In this, if one lone pair is there means, okay, if lone pair means just to change the structure into lone pair. In this place, you just add a lone pair and it becomes a bend shape. Okay. Can you able to see that and you can easily say the shape is bent or V-shape. So whenever the bent or V-shape you are getting, the point group is C2V. <clears throat> and if four bond pairs are there, this is these two are three bond pairs. Three bond pair means the base structure is trigonal planar. Four bond pairs are there. Then the base structure is sp3 hybridization tetrahedral. So sp3 tetrahedral in structure. In this one lone pair is there. Okay. If it is one lone pair is there, hybridization its own change. Okay. The structure will change according to the presence of lone pair. If one lone pair is there in this structure, if you add one lone pair, the structure is changed as a trigonal pyramidal. <clears throat> so the point group is C3V. According to the structure only, the point group will vary. Okay, not uh, not because of the hybridization. You should know the base structure according to the hybridization. Uh, according to the hybridization, and if you know the lone pairs, you can change the structure, and you can you should know the structure, and you. Come to know the point group also. <clears throat> and the third one is, if two lone pairs are there, you have to add here also one lone pair, another one lone pair here. See here. And it becomes a bend shape. So bend shape means what is the point group? C2V. Wherever the bend shape comes, the point the point group will be C2V only. C2V only. Okay. And in the same way. If it is a five bond pairs are there, the hybridization is SP3D. The base structure will be trigonal bipyramidal. Okay. In the earlier uh, tabular column, I have mentioned SP3D means trigonal bipyramidal <clears throat> that is d3h point group in this if one lone pair is there then the structure is changed as like this and it becomes a seesaw seesaw structure okay then if it is seesaw means the structure uh, point group is ctv c2 v only see here whether it is a bend shape or if two lone pairs are there okay one lone pair or if it is two lone pair or it may be a uh, seesaw one or two more bonds attached in a symmetrical way okay if a two bonds attached in a symmetrical way it won't affect the base structure okay the same point group only will retain okay see here one more one more lone pair increased so there is a no symmetry uh, the symmetry is not affected okay the base structure remains as it is so it is c2v and extra two bonds are created but the base structure is remains as it is okay the symmetry is in, enlarged but there is a it does not affect the symmetry okay so it is c2v as it is and if two lone pairs are there the same five bond pair in this two lone pairs are there okay what will happen in this two lone pairs here and here 
two lone pairs are there and if the structure becomes a T shaped. If it is a T shaped, the same only. Okay, the same pen shaped only is there. T shaped for this also C2V only. <coughs> and if it is a three lone pair, what will happen? All the, these three becomes a lone pair and this becomes a straight line. So linear. Okay, so linear means here two things are there in the linear. Linear whether it is symmetric linear or unsymmetric linear. According to the symmetric and unsymmetric, the point group will vary. If it is a symmetric, that is A infin D infinity H and unsymmetric means C infinity V. And I'll show you the other. <clears throat> if it is a six bond pass, six bonds from the hybridization is sp3 d2 okay that is octahedral the base structure for the sp3 d2 is octahedral that structure i have written over here that is oh if one one lone pair is there and it becomes square pyramidal square pyramidal means it becomes c4 v point group okay if it is a two lone pass two lone pass will become square planar square planar means d4 h point group wherever it comes square planar that is d4 h only you should know how to uh, how to uh, draw the structure if you know how to draw this structure you can easily come to know the point group if it is a three lone pass here also one lone pair here also one lone pair here also one lone pair and it becomes the structure it becomes t shape if t shape means c to v earlier here itself i said wherever the t shape comes it's a c to v only and four lone pass four lone pass here one lone pair here one lone pair here one lone pair, here one okay nearly four lone pass and it becomes the structure becomes a linear if it is a linear what is that symmetric and symmetric both are there if it is symmetric d infinity h and symmetric means c infinity v so <clears throat> the base structure you should know and the next thing what we need to know number of lone pair of electrons you should know with that if you draw it in that you come to know the exact structure according to the exact structure you will uh, write the point groups and if it is a seven bond pass means seven bonds well sp3 d3 hybridization in the sp3 d3 hybridization Structure is pentagonal bipyramidal. This is a pentagon. This is the pentagon in the bipyramidal is there. Here one pyramid, here one pyramid. Bipyramidal is there. So this pentagon bipyramidal is D5H point group. In this one lone pair is there means this is pentagonal pyramidal. So it is C5V. <coughs> okay, C5V. See here, here also octahedral. If it is one lone pair is there, C4V. Okay, in the same way, pentagonal bipyramidal, one lone pair is there means C5V. Here also four, four uh, ligands and one pyramid. Here also five ligands, one pyramid. So this, this resemblance you can easily remember. You can easily keep it in your mind. <clears throat> and if two lone pairs are there, it becomes pentagon only. Only pentagon. It's symmetry. It retains the base symmetry. Okay, so it becomes D5H only. And if it is three lone pairs, three lone pairs, here also lone pair, here also lone pair, here also one lone pair, it becomes CSA. CSA means C2V. CSA, T shape, bent shape, V shape, everything it becomes C2V, C2V point group. And if four lone pairs are there, what will happen? All these are lone pair. It becomes T shape. T shape means C2V. This is CSA, CSA, C2V. And <clears throat> I'm showing here the consolidated one so that it's easy for you to remember whatever I have drawn and show you. Here it is a consolidated, I'll show you. If whenever we are getting a linear shape in a Vesper geometry, okay, the point group is D infinity H. Okay, it may be D infinity H or it may be C infinity V. Okay, accordingly we will change. <coughs> Bent or V shape means that is C to V. Trigonal planar D3 H. Trigonal pyramidal C3 V. Trigonal bipyramidal means D5 H. Tetrahedral means DT. Sahas or C sum in C to V. T shape C to V. Octahedral OH. That square pyramidal means C4 V. Square planar D4 H. And pentagonal bipyramidal D5 H. Okay. If it is a pentagonal pyramidal means that is C5 H. C5 V. Okay. That you have to remember. Here I will take one example and I will let you know how to do it with the exam. How to do it in the exam. How it is useful while doing an exam. I will uh, tell you now. Okay. I'll take an example. Xenon OF4. This is an example I have taken. The first trick what I said, you should know the number of lone pair of electrons. Okay, first we need to know the lone pair of electrons. For that, outermost valence electron for the xenon is 8 minus number of bond. Number of bonds are there here. That is 4 minus here oxygen is a divalent anion that's why i have taken this example wherever the oxygen comes you have to do minus two okay <clears throat> divided by two 
so what is that i8 minus 6 is 2 by 2 which is equal to 1 1 lone pair of electrons first one we have to find the lone pair of electrons that is over second one is hybridization what is the hybridization okay one lone pair is there plus five bond pairs are there okay five bond pairs are there overall six six means what is that sp3 d yes p3 4 5 and 6 <clears throat> okay so sp3 d2 sp3 d2 means what is the structure it's an octahedral structure sp3 d2 octahedral structure this is the base structure base structure you need to draw okay octahedral structure in this how many lone pairs of electron is there one lone pair of electron is there so if i'll draw one lone pair of electrons over here so what will be the structure it's a square planar pyramid sorry uh, square planar pyramid okay what is that square pyramidal square this is square plus square pyramidal means what is this c4p point group is c4v point group so if you know this structure we can easily find out the square pyramidal means c4p if it is pentagonal pyramidal for example um if pentagon is there okay pentagon with one pyramid is there one lone pair of electron is there this is c5v it's easy to remember so four four Mm -hmm. four is there here central metal atoms attached to the four ligands okay <clears throat> here five ligands that's the difference c5b c4b it's easy to remember also thanks for watching if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and share to your friends also click the bell button thank you for watching